Good afternoon, today is May 21st, and today I'll continue to be talking about the coronavirus. So the first piece of news that I like to talk about is that a study published in the journal Nature have found that pet owners can pass the virus to their pets. So two dogs out of 15 dogs who lifted with owners that were infected have tested positive. So this just kind of proves that even though it may be extremely rare for owners to pass the virus to dogs, it is possible. There are also infections in other animals, including cats in Hong Kong, and uh, animals including four tigers and three lions at the New at New York City's Bronx Zoo, which also who also tested positive. Studies in cats have shown that they can pass the virus to other f feelings without showing symptoms, but I think uh, it will be extremely harder for dogs to pass the virus into the owners. But uh, if you are a pet owner, I would advise you to not let your dog, your pet, be near other animals or other dogs which can transfer the virus to them. So, uh, I think there is an urgent need to test more animals that are in contact, are in close contact with people, because. To, to, uh, because then we have a way to understand whether they have a role in spreading the virus and however to do this special diagnostic kits for testing animals will be required. Uh, overall, I just want to say it, like how many pet owners have been worried about uh, animal spreading and after all, animals may have played a part in starting this virus in the first place because the coronavirus did originate from bats and may have passed on to humans in some way and when there is that it may be from an animal. The second thing that I'd like to talk about is that uh, people Passengers who are flying during the Memorial Day weekend are likely to ex encounter lots of changes and new inconveniences, which can, which will hopefully allow them to be safer. Uh, security, for example, tra as travelers wait in line to be screened, they will expect to see signs out of the markings reminding them to maintain the distance. They will be where the agents checking will be wearing masks gloves and in some cases eye protection and it might also be inconvenient for passengers because uh, travelers kind of have to do more work by placing meals they bring with them, uh, scanning their own boarding passes. However, I feel like these are all just very good for the protection of the airport as uh, we need to, if there is a unknown a symptom worker and they're in the airport it may be really dangerous and uh for those that are going to be flying i suggest that you always wear protection and wear masks and uh you it will most likely be empty during in the terminals because shops restaurants and airline lounges will be closed and many boarding ticket encounters will be closed as well so I've personally been to uh, airports and I can tell you that it is basically almost empty except for the passengers that are about to board a plane and uh, it, it is just overall really empty but uh, maybe there will be flights that will be full because of the holidays and the weekend with the uh, days. The third thing that I'd like to talk about is that scientists predict a busy Atlantic hurricane season amid the virus and they predicted as many as 19 hurricanes in the Atlantic uh, season with six major hurricanes which is extremely worrisome sign. This could be further complicated by the coronavirus pandemic which are already hobbling relief agencies and could turn evacuation sent shelters into disease hotspots. So yesterday I talked about two dams that were breached in Michigan and the uh, cyclone Anthony which made landfall in India and Bangladesh but the prop but uh, the uh, more problems that are, are going to be caused as more of these hurricanes come in. So there's always just that uh, question of People are going to shelters to they're evacuating into shelters to avoid the hurricane 
and they're fleeing away from shelters to avoid the pandemic. But uh, I advise people, I advise uh, uh, local emergency managers to prepare for a new range of new challenges. Uh, how to, uh, and I would suggest everyone to evacuate first because with the current grand coronavirus, I feel like the hurricane is going to be a much bigger damage. And the coronavirus is oftentimes not as deadly as a hurricane. So, uh, people, if you're going to be threatened by a hurricane storm, please evacuate first. And I'll, and if you're at a shelter, just practice social distancing and wear a face mask. So, uh, you can, and officials, might likely uh, have to provide more shelters, allow social distancing in shelters, and just officials have to practice social distancing as well. That's it. Thank you for listening, and I have a good day. Thank you.